Hey guys, so today is going to be a haul video and I actually have been doing a lot of shopping lately which I'm bad Melissa, bad because I ha I was doing so good for a long time. I went like two whole months without buying one single thing, I mean besides like necessities and recently I've just been going crazy again so I need to stop. So I'm going to show you guys the, kind of the stuff that I picked up the last couple of days. First off, one of the most exciting things is this shirt. So I actually showed this shirt in another haul video which and I did an outfit of the day in this as well. Um, this is from New York and Company, which I was wearing it, so let me undo it here. But a bunch of you tweeted me and said that you went to go um, look at your New York and Company, and you found it, and that's super exciting because these shirts were on clearance, which by the time I post this video, unfortunately, they'll probably be gone. But this is what the shirt looks like. I got it in an extra large. Um, to me, it's kind of like a peasant shirt. I don't know. It's kind of see-through, very summery. It has like bunching right here up in the front and then some beading or um, some button details so this was I want to say it retailed for like $47 and when I bought it, the white one the first time I think I paid like 18 or 19 for it because it was half off or 60% off something like that so it was a super good deal well I think her username is precisely Holly I think that's what her name is she tweeted me and said she wanted to go um, get the shirt if I thought it was still in store and she went to go check her store and she found it so I was like man you know what I'm gonna go look for another one because the white one is just gonna get dirty and and that was you know not that long ago so I said no I bet I bet mine will have some so I went and sure enough they were out I was so bummed but the lady was like well you know it came in a purple color and a teal color and I was like really no way so on the dress was with me he was not happy about this but we went on a hunt looking through all of the racks for the purple and the teal one and I couldn't find any more white but I found the purple and the teal I had to go to two different New York and companies but totally worth it because they were 80% off so I think I only paid seven or eight dollars for them to I mean absolutely worth it I love this so it's the exact same thing it's just like this deep purple color except the buttons are purple they're not the um, silver and it has the same thing and actually for it being a large it fits fine I mean the white one is a little bit more roomy but the purple is definitely doable like the large is perfectly fine on me Oh, I have the receipt right here. They were $9.39 a piece, originally $46.94. So I saved $37.55 on each of these shirts. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. So I found the purple one, and then I found the, like, teal, I don't know, green, whatever color this is, whatever you want to call it, um, in the extra large. So it's the exact same thing, except, again, the buttons are not silver. They're the same green material. So I was really, really excited about that. You guys really have no idea. And then also in that same haul video where I showed the white one, I showed, like, this peachy colored shirt that I found there. And um, it, I think that one was 70 or 80% off when I bought it originally, but it was in an extra large. So when I went back looking for for those shirts, this shirt automatically stood out to me. And um, this is the exact same shirt, just on like a blue um, with that same like turquoise green color, black and white. So I absolutely love that shirt. I've actually already worn it in a haul video. In fact, I think I had it in my Just Fab haul, that like peachy colored shirt, which is a few videos back. But yeah, exact same shirt. It has like rouging on the side here. I don't know how well it'll pick up but so it cinches at like your hips absolutely perfect I love it and this one was really on sale Let's see if I can find a receipt here yeah it originated at $29.94 which is still way less than the, than the other shirts but it was on sale for 80% off so I only paid $5.99 for it isn't that a great deal you guys know I am absolute bargain hunter or I am an absolute bargain hunter I, I, I just cannot pass up a good deal and especially because I love these shirts, I'm the type of person when I find something I love, I buy one in every color. You guys know that. Because the boyfriend tees from Target are some of my favorite shirts to wear. And I have them in every color that they make. So 
yeah, if you guys are able to wear New York and Company, which their sizes vary, they go up to an 18 and an extra large, but some shirts I can wear their extra large or their larges, and some I absolutely can't even get on the extra large. So it really just depends, and I usually run between a size 18 to 20 or, and an extra large to a double X, depending on the shirt. So definitely go check it out because they always have amazing sales. Okay, I was at the mall the other day. Uh, I was actually with Andres, and him and I were just having kind of like a date I don't know like a shopping date um, he likes to shop don't let him fool you but <laughs> not the kind of shopping I like to do but I was in Pandora well actually we were in K Jewelers I was we were both getting our rings cleaned and Pandora's right across the way from K's so I this is a North Star Mall in case you guys are in San Antonio but um, I hadn't been to Pandora since before Mother's Day because I got my mom a bunch of charms for Mother's Day. So I wanted to go in there because I wanted to get her the mother's mother-daughter charm for Mother's Day, but they were all sold out. So I went ahead and picked it up now just to say thank you because my mom is amazing. She does so much for us. Like she's just an amazing person. I absolutely love her. I mean, we work together and I wouldn't have it any other way. Like she's my best friend. I love her. So I really just wanted to show her some show her my appreciation for everything she does for me and for us and our family and stuff. So I wanted to get her this charm just to say, hey, thanks, mom. You know, I love you. So this is what the mother daughter charm look like. Um, mine says daughter. Hello, obviously. <laughs> Hers says mother. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it's like a half a charm here. And in the inside, this little writing says um, you and me, me and you and it has that's what her other half looks exactly like this except it just says mother so I went ahead and put that on my regular just uh, silver charm bracelet I need to stock up on charms like I want to get this thing done it's been a long work in progress already and then oh they gave me a little polishing cloth which if you guys don't own one of these you really should invest in one they're really inexpensive you can get them on ebay for pretty cheap but any silver jewelry that you have if it tarnishes or anything like that you can really polish it up with this i mean you can see like she cleaned my pandora bracelet and i still got black stuff off of it but um yeah so i wanted to make sure i didn't have anything else in here which i don't but i also picked up the um this is my two-tone bracelet it's actually actually just a silver bracelet and I'm making it a two-tone but it falls I don't have any um, clasps on it at all so it was falling off something ridiculous and it was getting on my nerves like every time I would try and put it on the little charms were coming off and it was just super annoying so the charms that I have on it are just those three right there the little pillow charm the I love you and the flowers that say love and my mom got me those for the wedding um, so I figured since I was making it a two-tone bracelet, I would buy a clasp or, I don't know, the linking chain. I forget what they're called. But this one is just the one that is gold hearts with the silver clasp. And it keeps the charm bracelet together so that when I take it off, the charms don't fall off, which that was a complete mouthful. But I really like it. And this is another charm bracelet that I want to get going on too because I want to get these finished already. Okay, so I ordered on the dress... Um, looks like I'm turning orange here but I ordered him from Nordstrom the large runway um, Michael Kors watch in silver um, they're all manly watches but that one is the most manly to me and he really likes my gold one but he wanted it in silver so we went ahead and ordered that one online and because I get rewards points you guys know I'm all about points whatever I can get for free <laughs> so um, he had to wait for it to come in he wasn't sure if he was really going to like it after we looked at it in store. So we went to Nordstrom to, so he could see what kind of watches they had and blah, blah, blah. So he is a worst shopper alive, let me tell you. He takes forever. That's what I'm saying. He loves to shop. Don't let anybody tell you differently because he just, but he takes forever. I'm like in and out, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. No, he can spend forever in a store looking at the same thing over and over again. If you guys as husbands or boyfriends or brothers or dads are like that, let me know down below. Like, I just want to know if he's weird. I mean, seriously, he can look at the same thing for hours. I just don't get it. I mean, I guess I do with makeup, but whatever. <laughs> so, while he was looking at that stuff with the watches and whatnot, I went to 
um, look elsewhere. <laughs> so first I stopped at the Chanel counter and let me tell you guys, like I do not buy high-end things. I, well, I mean, I don't want to say I never buy high-end things, but I don't just strictly buy high-end makeup. Like I do not discriminate when it comes to things. Like I will buy anything and everything. It doesn't matter if it's a dollar or if it's $50. So I'm just throwing that out there. But this was something that I definitely was thinking was a pure luxury. I don't think it's a necessity by no means because I already have a couple of these just in different variations so let me go ahead and show you I went ahead and picked up the eyelash curler from Chanel and I've seen a couple of um, gurus here on YouTube have this already and it's it is limited edition it is very sleek and very just I don't know <laughs> classic I absolutely love it so it says Chanel at the top and it is black um, this has been compared to the Shuri Yurimura ones, which I do have a pair of. I wouldn't say that it's exactly the same. Um, the structure of it and the tightness of it is pretty de pretty close, but it definitely has like a different curve and stuff, and it has a high, way higher price point. I think the Shuri Yurimura ones were 18 or 19, maybe even 20. These were 34 dollars, which is ridiculous. I had a coupon. That's kind of the reason why. I uh, I bought them. If you have a Nordstrom credit card, they send you various coupons and things all the time. But anyway, so yeah, these were definitely not a necessity. It's just something that I wanted that I think is lavish. And is it insanely priced? Yes, but you're paying for Chanel. I mean, come on. You can get a Louis Vuitton for under a thousand, whereas Chanel, you, you're lucky to get it at 1800 or 2000 so just think of it like that it is a higher name brand and that's what you pay for but I do think these are very sleek and um, just very sophisticated and classic looking and then it came with two of the little things to replace it so even though this is limited edition I definitely think it'll last you a long time and then while I was at the Chanel counter I really have been wanting to try the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua um, but I've just been hesitant because a lot of people who use, some people who use it have oily skin and some people don't. So like I said, I've just kind of been hesitant. I have super oily skin, um, but I really did want to try a sample of it. So she gave me the color, uh, B20, which she said they all are named beige, but this is the color. It matches me pretty, pretty close. Like she did a good job. Um, it is a water-based foundation, so you really have to shake this up to kind of get it activated and then apply it. I haven't tried it yet, so I couldn't really tell you, but I may do um, like a little review or a get ready with me video on this soon so that way you guys can see it. But their packaging is like super cute, these little sample things. Okay, and then the last thing that I picked up from Nordstrom is this, and this kind of has a little story behind it. First off, this, okay, when you have a Nordstrom card, like I said, you get little perks and things like that. Um, so the day that I went, they ha they were happy to have a tent cell where, like, an employee had to escort you in it, and, I mean, it was crazy. Like, to me, it's just makeup and, like, skincare and stuff. It wasn't that necessary to have a bodyguard, but whatever. Um, they had, like, all these amazing sales and stuff like that. I promise, I promise, promise, pinky promise that I will be doing an updated skincare routine video so soon, like, you guys won't even believe it. But I just haven't even, I haven't really had certain products that I've been using all this time, so it's hard for me to show you guys and recommend things to you when I've been switching them up all the time. But the thing that has stayed consistent in my routine for probably, I don't know, a year now is this cleanser. And this is the philosophy. Philosophy Purity Made Simple Cleanser, um, and I had been wanting to buy this Jamungo bottle for the longest time. This is 32 ounces. This uh, Sephora is the only place that I know of besides Nortrum that sells it online only in this large of a size. And the reason I wanted to get this Jumbo bottle is because it comes with a pump, and it's just really easy for me to use this in the shower. Um, I use my Clarisonic in the shower, which when I do a what's in my shower video, you guys will understand what I'm saying, but it's just so much easier to use something that has a pump in my shower. So I've been wanting to get this, and because I wash my face mainly in the shower every day, I figured it would be really convenient. So the reason that I picked this up, this retails for $49.50, and I was just about to order it on Sephora's website, but it's 50 cents short of free shipping, and you guys know I do not pay shipping if I don't have to. So. I didn't want to add anything to my cart just because it was only 50 cents. So when I saw this at Nordstrom, I was like, score, I'm going to get it. I get Nordstrom points. It's fine. It'll work out good. I'm good all around. So the reason that I picked it up was because it's such an amazing deal. 
So I only paid $49.95 for this. It says it's an $84 value. And this was like limited to just the like tent cell or whatever. I don't think they have this deal on an everyday basis. But it comes with a free 8 ounce cleanser. Yay! Like I was so excited. I mean this retails for, I see it says that it's um an $84 value. I'm thinking that they're counting the pump with that because this uh, retails for $20 by itself. 20 or 24 something like that. I can't really remember, but you're getting it whole for free. This is the size that I have right now. And it's a pain in the butt because you have to pop the top like that and then tip it over and squeeze it out. And I just really prefer things that come in a pump. <laughs> so, um, but what I've done is I've used like a little dollar pump that I got from Dollar Tree or Target has them too and I've put some of the cleanser in it and put it on my sink so it's super easy to use now instead of having to tip it over and blah so anyway yeah I thought that was a really good deal I was super excited so yeah <laughs> you guys know I love free things and um, $20, $24 worth is definitely worth it to me so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this haul um, and my talking and my good finds and stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you in my next video bye